Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. Last week, I left you with a cliffhanger. I had just told my wife that when I die, I want to become a non-fungible token. That's an asset based on cryptocurrency technology. NFTs, as they're called, can fetch very high prices. But apparently my wife couldn't wait for that windfall. She was standing over me with a knife. Well, it was all a misunderstanding. I had not yet told her she'd be the one who has to make me digital. And neither of us knew how. We agreed to wait. But that got me thinking. Why not now? After all, an NFT is just a digital file, like a tweet or a photo. How hard could it be? Very. But I did it. Here's how. First, there were the fees. You need a digital currency to pay them. So I went online, created a digital wallet, and bought $100 worth of Ethereum. That's the second biggest crypto moolah after Bitcoin, and a favorite of NFT creators like me. I used a credit card. My bank rejected the sale as suspicious. It finally went through, but the currency had fluctuated, and the digital wallet site added its own fees. I ended up spending $106 for about 90 bucks worth of Ethereum. Next, I needed a website that would transform my asset into a non-fungible token. I went with the biggest, OpenSea, but it doesn't handle future corpses like mine. Seemed to prefer photos, digital art, manuscripts. So, I chose my script for last week's commentary about NFTs. I figured if Hollywood likes movies about Hollywood, the cryptosphere should love this. To enhance its value, I updated, expanded, and signed it in ink. Submitted it as a photo. The fees clobbered my digital wallet, but that's okay. I set a price on my new NFT that would just cover the costs. You can buy it on OpenSea, all one word. Search for Don Morrison. Now I know how to get rich by selling non-fungible tokens of nearly anything. To do that, my wife needs me, alive. I now understand this whole NFT, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency thing. It's not about speculation or convenience. It's about the wallets, the platforms, and especially the fees. After all, the people who get rich in a gold rush aren't the miners. They're the folks who sell the shovels. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County. <laughs>